We have to big up our sponsors, Itopia Life Herb House, where cannabis and culture combine for a one of a kind experience. Visit them at 10A West Kings House Road, just across from the Canadian Embassy. Also follow them on IG at Itopia Life or their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info on strains mm-hmm. and merch. We nearly mispronounced the word this there. <laughs> well, so I have to welcome back and big up Lulu's Holistics. Remember, you can always use our code in the description of every video that we post to get a 10% <laughs> discount. We're work on, yeah, we're back to doing we're this back, job. We're, we're back, back at this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out Lulu's Holistics. And we have to big up our Patreon. Patreon, DB, big up yourself. Mm-hmm. And also, that's up, man. Fix merch. <laughs> All right. You can go to our merch store. And go cut the black tea with the white logo, the blue tea with the faded logo, the fix mask and the fix mug, as well as our brand new fix things merch up on the site right now, which you see Javi rocking right there. So the premium fix things pull over. So feel nice and comfy though. Just I feel that fixy goodness all over your body. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's not take this stuff. <laughs> so the site, teespring.com. Slash. Stars. Slash. The Fix JA. As I told you before, how I figured out in my own way how how I can relate music and mixing to math. Yeah. Mm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And that even changed my concept because sometimes somebody would say to me, say, how oh, you move from right to the right? So I may never know, but me not the same party. So I will move you from one genre to the next to the next because I'm not really a talker. Mm. I got that I, I got that habit from this guy called Donovan Dakers. Mm-hmm. Um, music. I, I, I took him to a party in Ochoa's, and I watched him play from five o'clock till after seven in the morning. Mm-hmm. He never said a word on the microphone except move your car, <laughs> promoter link up, stuff like that. Yeah. And my witness, I see the promoter crying, living eye water mm. to the man. Mm-hmm. So lack of the music because the man does not have ice to put into the cup where he don't have for serve people drinks where he don't have mm-hmm. the people let me drink out in bar and in reserve and the people let me still want more drinks mm-hmm. and I try to tell him for God the words you go buy liquor because he's ready for go home <laughs> it does not take an honorary person to do that yeah. mm. from 5 eight, from five p.m. till 7 in the morning and I had a lot of respect for him and that was it <laughs> next one of my trans one of my transformation in playing music especially on radio that anybody claims to them like how I play a dance is because of bass odyssey mm. mm-hmm. it's because of bass odyssey and how them play reggae music mm. how them deal with dance hall. Mm. and not only them still in, you understand what I mean other dance hall sound become you so go and listen to them like I tell you yeah I will leave from here and just drive yeah, us yeah, from yeah. here so one dance I keep and listen ready yeah. because I love hearing country sound <laughs> because their their perception of music is different different so guess what happened Look like this, look like that, look like this, look like that. I'm just formulated into how I would want to present music. Mm-hmm. So anybody who hear how I play a dance and them something, I like it. Take it from. That's how all the greats <laughs> them do. That's how Jada and yeah. Jada and Tech from is in the past uh, and Julius Irving and Big O nah, and nah. all them people and mm-hmm. him make it into him own. Yeah, and till him is regarded as the, the greatest. <laughs> all right. But he have to be influenced by somebody. Yeah, we all have to be. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like, I've been exposed to music for, for a long while. When Daddy Chaplin bring music from all over the world. Mm. And then, like, I, I ended up liking real melodic stuff. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Music will make you just feel happy mm. and feel nice. Mm-hmm. It have a vibe. I mm-hmm. guess this is where the soca goes love comes in we're not going to go there <laughs> no we're not <laughs> our next two hours yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you understand what i mean but with all with all of that going on fam mm. i just right now want to be able to help people i'm not going to listen to produce music you know? mm. right because i have some i had some com- some some prior commitments prior to this before mm. You know, mm-hmm. me getting ill, seriously ill. Mm-hmm. Like, um, 
like the song with Tonto Blacks and, and Chris Gale. Mm. It's not really like that. It's, 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 it is what it is. Mm. Singing about drinking and partying and rum and them something. But you know, I'm not on that right now. Mm. I'm not going to depend on that. Because I, I have a very, 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 I had a very sexy bar collection at my house. Mm -hmm. Serious products. Mm. And when I was in the hospital and my brother here said, I was rum cause it, drinking cause it, everything him scrape up, <laughs> everything on that way. Damn, but so, just like actually, you, you, you know, know what you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, we're drinking in moderation. Yeah. So, <laughs> some limited edition <laughs> this <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, man, he, he got really upset. I'm just going to dash everything. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. but that's what the, that's what the song is about mm -hmm. so it's not a case where i change my life or i'm making changes to my life mm -hmm. but in the meantime i hear say me i put up me, me, i'm associated with that song i'm talking about the same thing when, when, when the same thing that i don't want to be associated with mm -hmm. but that is unfinished business prior to me going in and I, I'm a game of word. So mm. I'm going to do that. And I try my best yeah. to live up to my word. So from that, you feel you ever produce or be involved in any type of song? No, like one, one type of music I now make is gun song. Mm. Definitely. Too much of that out there. Mm -hmm. But feel nice and a party song like yes. what Dublin are drinking. You're not, yeah. you're not opposed to it. Mm, car people is people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And And... I'm being creative at different levels. So, so I'm not going to bash nobody who makes certain mm. things. Me just know some me not going to produce certain things. <laughs> but based on the song that really helped me, what come around and helped me in a full circle, which is the song with Chevan, I am going to work with musicians and other producers together mm. to make some more music like that because there's a lot of people out there that is, that is in the darkness. Mm. And darkness can be stress, you can be alone. Mm -hmm. You can be a Depression, single parent. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. All of those things. Mm -hmm. You understand? And whether you want to believe it or not, but born comes to music and we're going to deadlift it. Mm. So why mm -hmm. not help some people? Why, 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 why not help some people mm -hmm. during difficult times when they can't make a decision for themselves? Mm -hmm. How many people reach the brink of giving up? You mm -hmm. wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. How many people are going to come out and don't feel ashamed to say, I felt like giving up, mm. but this song was the hand that reached out to me mm. um, and, and, and not necessarily gave me courage, but gave me the strength to not give up, mm. Mm. to want to live, mm. to want to be a better person, to want to be a better parent. You understand what mm. I mean? To want to be a better minister. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> I'm just, you understand what I mean? Just to want to be a better person. Mm. Well, I'll go back to, to you DJing and helping people. I call you, so you take from people and it influences your style. Have any other younger DJs approach you and say, yo, you I got a lot of that today. I got a lot of that when I came out of the hospital. Wow. And, I can't get your flowers. And I was I, I was surprised. Like, yeah. like, you will hear a selector talk to you like you want ball. Wow. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can't hear the groggling. You, you can't hear the, the water running. Yeah, <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yeah, a goggle. You understand? <laughs> and you can't hear the... You, 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 well, I heard the genuineness in their voices. Mm. And I did not know that them when I feel this, they had such... I never let them have me in such high regard, not only as a person, but as a DJ. I'm being honest with but you. But just let me just both facts. Like, you know, say, I want to go start that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you I don't, don't know that. that. Be, brother, may the, I tell you the truth? Um, Kurt, you know what people come here so, and say, yo, you see, if you want to learn of a DJ, mm -hmm. listen to Kurt, right? Listen yeah. listen to fame. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know dead no more, but like, when you used to dead, eh, then say, listen to Kurt, right? Listen to fame. Listen to all them, that them and they juggle and do him thing. Listen to him. Mm hmm. And that them say, I've, I've heard it in enough people say privately, publicly. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. DJ really. Burns, young God too. <laughs> young God to Burns. <laughs> Kurt really? I would have interviewed the first. Kurt really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't know that. Why <laughs> oh, not, 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 not the man the library? <laughs> because the thing is, it's like, you know, frankly, look at me, I don't know my powers. Mm. I say it all the while, I don't know my powers. Mm -hmm. But I have a certain level of humility about me. Mm. 
And I don't think I want that to change. Mm-hmm. Because it's not everybody can understand us. It's not, any, it's not everybody mm-hmm. can handle True. a certain level of knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And true. understanding about yourself and maybe what you are worth and the power that you claim that you have. Mm. Because I've seen a lot of people abuse it. <laughs> so I am happy with where my mind is. Mm-hmm. And I will help you if I can. I move on. I'm not going to mention it. Like you have a, like one person in particular. Mm-hmm. I never remember this. <laughs> Richie Feelings. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said it me, too. Mm-hmm. Him tell me, him tell me say one time in the most teeth in music. Mm. And I uh, just come a jungle, come check him. Give him a computer, give him a pile of CD. And left him. Mm. And said, burn you want to burn. Mm-hmm. And he told me, I never called him back. Yeah. He said, next time he called me and him, and him, him computer crash. Yeah. And he's telling me that I said, where you there? And me and Siobhan take up my computer, <laughs> pick him up, <laughs> carry him to Mandeville to play with my computer, mm. wait for him, <laughs> and bring him back to my yard. Wow. <laughs> and I said, me you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I really you're remember. Sure? That. Like, you're sure I'm me do that? I don't remember because I <laughs> love music. Mm. And if he's a DJ, me I have a family. Mm-hmm. And any DJ, the same thing that will happen to you in terms of your tools being broken down. Mm-hmm. It can happen Thank to you. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would want somebody to help me. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand what mm-hmm. I mean? And that is how me is. I don't. I I don't do it to talk back. Me know I don't do what I do because more your face and your friend. Mm. Being a man in general, in Shimon Maria, see what you with you, what you with, um, talking. With just a reason. Mm. The engineer is telling me mm-hmm. that he just saw me cut my ears like this in that conversation. I just stop talk. And he said, I just walked over to the stage. And just tap the CD player twice because the guy was mixing and it was off. Mm. And he had the fader open. So it's beer confusion. Mm-hmm. So he said, I heard the confusion and stopped talk. I walk up to the stage and tap the CD player twice and it just lock. And I walk him off the stage. And the man I said, What did Rasa just do a while ago? <laughs> no, to be fair, eh. in that moment. I did not want the people um, to embarrass the DJ or anybody to speak bad about him. Mm. Mm. But nobody on the stage was helping him. Mm-hmm. All I'm DJ friend him watching my John. Mm. And I don't like that. Because you can put yourself in that situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah that could happen to me. It could happen to me, of course. Mm. And I would want somebody to help me. Mm. You understand? Sometimes mm. I can't blame a man for what he don't know. But he was trying because I could hear it. Mm. I hear him speeding it up and slowing it down. Mm-hmm. But the thing that he had the fader open, that's the biggest mistake. Mm. You have to correct it in your earphone first. Mm-hmm. Lock it there first. And then you open the fader. Once you open the fader, you have eight bars to do what you need to do. Mm. Get out. <laughs> You understand what I mean? But mm-hmm. the man gone way past eight bars and I try to fix it. And the rest of him friend him up there, so I look. Nobody say anything to him. Mm-hmm. And I just walk through the crowd and, and like the man said, I just stop to see the player twice because luckily, they make a lucky guess, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like one, two, two. and it luck. Mm-hmm. I'm going to walk and left him. You're a DJ, we're all family, Bridget. A golden mm-hmm. touch there. Right. <laughs> We're all we're, we're all family, mm. and I wish the best of every every DJ, regardless of who them is. They more call them poetry. Nah, no, we all have to learn from somewhere, brother. Mm. You understand what I mean? Just do me a favor. Mm. Just have respect for the music. That's all I ask. Mm. Cause that's what you mm-hmm. find us say. You no, know, for them DJs, like them, they have respect for the craft like that. Well, you have to. You have, to, you, have, you, have, you have to, you can't judge them like that. Mm. It would be best for you to have a conversation with them if you're lucky. Mm. And find out more of them background. Mm-hmm. And then that would understand, that would make you understand why he or she choose to treat me, treat the music the way that they do. Mm-hmm. Mm. And maybe something happened, you understand? Maybe them do it because they want the hype. I mean, we all want boss down. Mm. <laughs> I mean, everybody, everybody wants to be on a particular platform. Mm-hmm. One time, yeah. mm. but the reality is, it is impossible. Mm-hmm. 
You understand? Mm-hmm. If you have a hundred foot stage and you have hundred thousand people in the venue and a hundred thousand people want to go on the chair, what is going to happen? <laughs> it's going to pop down. Mm. So some have to go on mm-hmm. and some have to come off. But our mentality is not like that. Mm. Everybody wants to be the person right now. At the time. Mm-hmm. And it is impossible. It's not the right time. Mm. <laughs> you understand what you I mean? You believe in our faith? Me? Yeah. And mm. me ask? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where I come from? Just tell me. Where I come from? No, we're coming just there, please. So it's no coincidence. Uh, you were a part of probably one of the most proudest moments in a dance hall we're going to see. And no coincidence. Though. It's not a coincidence. So you were smack dab in the middle of it. The versus. Yeah. Flesh. It would be the uh, 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 killer. No coincidence. But I see them things. I see what you got through. Mm-hmm. And just knowing who you are and other thing, man, there's no coincidence that you did it right there. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. As I said, what's no you believe in a, in a fate? I know yeah, all man. you got yeah. you. <laughs> no coincidence. As man say, Florence, so forgive. If you not, if you don't know, brother, you are the gold standard of DJ. One of the DJs that are all DJs look up to and say, yo. Want be like him, want be like him. It easy, you know. Mm. Just love music. Mm. Mm-hmm. Treat music like, treat music like you would treat a good relationship. Mm. Mm-hmm. Do things like find out who write the song. Find mm-hmm. out why why write the song. Mm-hmm. Like you know, say squash drop a new song. It would be nice if you could have a conversation with him as a, as, as a DJ, you know? Mm-hmm. It would be also good if it, it was also good if DJs and artists could talk to some of us as selectors when we want to talk to you know, we're not bother when we're not begging us or nothing. Sometimes we just want to know a thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Why you say that in the song? Mm-hmm. Because it helps us to understand and, and, and it would help us to grow musically and mentally to understand the craft of dance hall or reggae music. Mm-hmm. Is that hard for you? Me? Kurt Riley, if you speak to the artist and get them information, right? have them type of conversation. And like well, to, to be fair, we just figure it out. Mm. Yeah, just figure Over it navigate. Out. Yeah, we <laughs> figure it out. One of the, one artist, one artist, he passed away. His name is Bob Andy. Because mm. I recognize people through, I can recognize people through how them sound. As long as I talk to you long enough, mm-hmm. like over maybe like over 30 minutes or more, mm. then you, 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 the frequency and the tone of your voice stuck in my brain. Mm. So I can pick you out in a crowd. So I was at this restaurant and I saw, met him at Bobby Digital Studio, who also passed away. Mm-hmm. And I heard this mm-hmm. voice and I'm like, I don't know that frequency there. And it sounds like Bob Andy. Shit. <laughs> and there's only one question I could have asked him. And he's like, why are you singing that song? <laughs> um, but Bado Bado Baba, yeah. Mm. And him saying, was singing about himself. Mm-hmm. My last shirt got torn off my back, but that's not quite the fact. My shoes down to my socks. The man don't know when he go eat bread. Mm-hmm. The man don't no place to live. You understand? He don't remember the last time he eat bread. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> Things like then the more I know, you know. Mm-hmm. So guess what happened now? I now end up have more respect for the song. Mm-hmm. Because the man gave me a reason why I'm why? saying. I know them yeah. look the finer details. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if 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 DJs, if artists could share their information like that with us DJs, if it, it, it would help us, it would make us respect their craft more mm-hmm. and even cheer for them even more. Mm-hmm. Because now we have a personal connection mm-hmm. with the song and the reason why you say it. Whether it's personal, whether they say it out of anger, whatever reason we understand. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you have to have respect for the music. Just respect it like a very good relationship. Treat the equipment good. Don't treat the equipment shabby. Wipe it down. Make sure you say it all right. Mm. Make sure you say you have the right, the right version of the song. Them if you if 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 you if you if you don't have the original version. Get it, things like then to make sure so your quality up there. You know, it's time I go party and hear some song like the quality up your song, then next time your next one drop. Mm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. You have to you have to love it, and once you love it, I go love you back. <laughs>